Hi everybody, thanks so much for coming back. We are in our final installment of the review of a couple of Kim Kimball products that I was excited about using. Um, it is almost 3 a.m. and I'm a little bit loopy and I'm actually one burst of humidity away from a total afro. And that is not pretty. That transformation is scary. So we don't want to see that, do we? No. So we're going to move on and get this recap going fast, precious. Okay. Great. All right. So we looked at uh, the repair shampoo. I gave that a thumbs up. It's almost like a clarifying shampoo, but what's so nice about it is that it did not strip your hair of your natural oils, but got your hair cleaned thoroughly. So I like that. The next was the Kim Kimball Conditioning Argan Oil Oil uh, Paper Hair Mask. Now that I give that a thumbs down. And I mean a thumbs down, like six feet under, thumbs down. When I put this mask on my hair, it began to burn my scalp really badly. I felt like I had had a relaxer that just got left on for a couple of days. Um, my, my scalp was really irritated and inflamed across my forehead and my ears. They were burned. Um, they were inflamed and my skin started to flake uh, yesterday and today um, as a result of using that mask. Now, I wasn't able, oh, before I say this, uh, always make sure you have some neutralizing shampoo on hand because if you ever get an adverse reaction from a product you're using, you want to not just rinse it out, but you want to neutralize the chemical reaction that is occurring in your hair. So always make sure you have some around. Of course, you can get it at the beauty supply. You can even often get it at uh, your grocery store. So just make sure you always have some on hand just in case you need it. Now, I wasn't able to review uh, the Blockbuster heat protectant yesterday because I was trying to do a major, major deep reconditioning of my hair because of the damage that I was afraid had been done by using the hair mask. So here we are. Now, I told you I would, get, I would give my hair a blowout and use this product. So this is what you're looking at as a result of using this product and blowing my hair out only. I didn't use, I didn't use any heat on it other than the blow dryer. Now, first off, what I did was I gave myself a skin test yesterday to make sure that I would not have an adverse reaction like I did with the hair mask. So what I did was I put some of the product on my hand, on the top of my hand, but I also put it on my arm, the tender part of my skin there, but I also used it on my neck, and I also had a small portion of my hair that I put it on also. So I did a strand test to make sure that um, it would not break off my hair or that my skin would not get irritated overnight. So when I got up today, uh, my skin was fine, no problems, no hair breakage, so I thought that was a good sign and that I could go ahead and complete this review. Now what I did with this uh, product, with the, uh, it's called Blockbuster Heat Protectant. What I did was I did take a small portion of my hair and just put some on my hair because I was a little concerned that once I put the product on the hair and I also used my blow dryer, I might get another adverse reaction and break my hair off. So I started off with a really small portion of hair. Well, fortunately, I didn't have, didn't have any problem at all. So I went ahead and I gave my hair a good spray of all of the product. This is what it looks like. Again, it's just a clear spray, and um, I didn't have any problem with it at all. So that was really good news. Um, has a nice odor to it. It's pretty mild, um, but I don't think there's anything in there really to uh, bother you. It didn't bother me, I'll say. The primary ingredient usually on these things is water, and it is here. Um, uh, I would say regarding this protectant that it is neither superior or inferior to any other product that I've used to protect my hair from heat. So probably whatever you're using is probably working just as well. Um, but again, I had no adverse reactant, reaction and it's neither superior or inferior to, to um, anything I've used in the past. Now, I want to say there's a big problem that I did experience with using these three products or having them on hand. Okay. And that was when I began to have an adverse reaction to using this product, I wanted to call the company. Now, there is no phone number to call. 
usually on relaxers or, you know, shampoos or conditioners. There's a phone number oftentimes that you can call. Well, there is nothing here. The only way that you can contact them is through their social media uh, platforms. Now, when your hair is on fire, not literally, but figuratively, um, I wanted to call them immediately and say, hey, you know, this is the problem that I'm having with your product, but I could not do that. Um, also, on her box, it says her website is kimkimblebeauty.com. So after I had stopped the, the chemical reaction and I had gotten another type of conditioner on my hair, I went to their website. Now, the problem is that the website does not exist. Yes, people, there is no website. They own the domain, or the domain is owned by someone, but there is no website. So it's parked. So unfortunately, if you want to go to that website, all you'll find is that the domain is owned, has been purchased. There is not even a single page that has contact us information uh, that you can uh, use. There is nothing on there that says that the website is under construction. This is a major problem when it comes to marketing and consumer confidence. That's a whole different issue, a whole other blog. But for your average person who's looking for some way to reach this company, you can't. And one of the reasons why I say that this is a major problem is because this project, this problem, all of these products are only available at Walmart. And Walmart is a global, global, um, it's a global store. So there should be some way to contact the company. And not, the rule number one with anything is do not advertise something you are not able to deliver. And they were not able to deliver a website, even though they advertise it on all of their products. So that was quite a big disappointment. All right. Well, moving on. I call this episode uh, Kim Kimball versus me. I broke the rules. Now, I know you're thinking, wait a minute, she just did one video and now she's got episodes. Well, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I broke my own rules. Now, you will never find me, with the exception of what I did here, was be an early adopter to a new product. I never ever do that because whenever new products come out, they've only been manufactured with a very small sample size of users. I don't do that for brand new cars that come out that are a new model. I don't do that for medications. I don't do that for new electronic gadgets. I just don't do it as a rule because there has not been mass distribution of the product. Now, mass distribution always will reveal the flaws, which is why I do not buy buy them on their first run. Um, I never do. So that's something to consider. But I did kind of break my rule here. Why? Because Kim Kimball has built up her brand. And even though on her television show, there's a lot of drama, a lot of unnecessary drama in her, um, in her beauty shop and in her salon, it's an interesting show, you know, and she's a great stylist. I have to give her that for sure. But there should have been some way to contact her. But that's why I broke my own rule in being an early adopter to a product that I don't believe has been uh, tested globally or with massive numbers of people. When you're an early adopter of a product, I just want to let you know that you are a crash test dummy. Okay? I am a crash test dummy when it came to here. I crashed and burned with this product in my hair. But, um... Think, think twice about always trying to run out and be the first one to get something. Because usually it's that first run that, that has all the flaws. That's why you get version 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, 5.0. Alright, well, that's enough of that. I did want to let you know that I do have a special quick announcement for you. That if you choose, uh, press the like button and the subscribe button. And the reason why I'm asking you to do that, for everyone who does that, I'm going to donate time to volunteer projects and this volunteer project is working in a food bank to get food to people. It's so important and in this country we have a food scarcity problem right now. Um, 
and you know, I'm sure you've already heard the reports about how food scarcity is just impacting families. I was heartbroken the other day to hear on the news that one little girl, I think she was about nine years old, right in the middle of a Zoom school session, she just broke out crying and she said she was so, so hungry and that she couldn't take it anymore. And that was really, really hard to hear. And fortunately, people rallied around her and got food to her family. And I think she was able to get food for a year. But can you imagine how long she's been suffering and going without food? So that's something that's close to my heart. I worked on Skid Row for many years. And you just never know. We have people who are up and outers and people who are down and outers. And right now, we have a problem with people going hungry in this country. And there's no reason for that to continue. There's plenty of food. So if you, if you hit those buttons, I'll be so appreciative because it'll just drive me to work hard and you'll hit, all you have to do is hit a button and you'll be sending me out to do labor. All right. So it's a good thing. And the best thing about this is that I didn't even say smash that like button. No, all you have to do is go boop, boop, hit those buttons and I'll, you'll be putting me to work. All right. Uh, more importantly, if you are hungry, please, and you're in, let's say, the San Gabriel Valley or L.A. County, please visit the website newlifepomona.com. Again, that's newlifepomona.com, and it's a working website. Um, visit there, and you'll get all the details about getting food. Please know that there is no cost, and there is no shame. Please, if you're hungry or if you know someone who's hungry, please let them know about the services that are being provided by New Life Church. It's really important and very close to my heart, and I'm sure it can become close to your heart, too, because I know you care. All right. Well, we've come to the end of this episode, and most of all, I want you to remember that you are not your hair. You are not your hair. Okay? You are a beautiful treasure, divinely fashioned by God, and you matter. All right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay courageous, victorious, and I will see you next time. Bye. No, really, bye. Bye. I want to go to sleep. Good night. Good morning. Okay, bye.